Kavanaugh's attorney comes forward with bombshell, destroys accuser's number one claim. By MadWorldNews.com Just in time for Thursday's Senate Judiciary Committee hearing, Judge Brett Kavanaugh's clever attorney has come forward with a bombshell revelation that shuts down the left's claim that her client's accuser is credible in any way. In a bid to indefinitely delay the Supreme Court justice vote on Judge Brett Kavanaugh, Democrats have resorted to one of their most predictable and malicious tactics. Despite protecting their own party's sexual predators by ignoring the cries of tenable victims, liberals have launched a politically biased attack against Kavanaugh, attempting to ruin his unimpeachable character and untainted record. Like clockwork, Democrats have produced several left-leaning female activists to accuse Kavanaugh of salacious behavior, which apparently occurred more than three decades ago. Most disturbingly, these women are hailed by the political left as credible, despite the fact that their claims are filled with holes, contradictions, and logical fallacies. Of course, Democrats are still propping these pussy-hat-wearing feminists as the epitome of virtue, demanding that they are believed. In fact, the left cheered when Christine Blasé Ford, Kavanaugh's initial accuser, announced that she had a therapist's report and lie detector test results to prove her allegations true. Unlike the desperate Democrats, Kavanaugh's feisty female attorney wasn't about to simply take Ford at her word. During an interview on CBS this morning, Judge Brett Kavanaugh's attorney, Beth Wilkinson, revealed that, despite Christine Blasé Ford's claims, neither she nor her lawyer has produced the results of the alleged lie detector test or the therapist's notes, which are the basis of Ford's accusations. As you know those are statements that were made relatively recently and sadly this is an allegation from almost 36 years ago and there was at the time no report which is understandable, Wilkinson said. But the first time these allegations came to light as far as we know from reading the reports in the media, Dr. Ford told her therapist and told her husband. They announced that there were notes and there was a lie detector test but as I understand it they did not turn any of those over to the Senate committee even though they were requested. So. The information that would have shown what she said at the very first time when she revealed these allegations have not been turned over to the Senate. In disbelief, host Nora O'Donnell again asks Wilkinson to reiterate, wait. So, you're saying that that lie detector test they referenced, the results of that, have not been shared with you or with the Senate committee? As far as I know, last night when the information was sent in, we all received a request from the Senate to provide any information and we did not receive from the documents that they sent in any information or the results of the lie detector test had been mentioned in the Washington Post and we didn't receive the notes from the therapist that had also been referenced in the Washington Post. Wilkinson continued, and, of course, that's very important because, apparently, in those notes there's a differing story about how many people were present at the party, there's no mention of Judge Kavanaugh and, so, all that information would be very important to determine whether there's any corroboration of this allegation. Although Ford pointed to her supposed lie detector test and therapist's records as the only evidence of her accusation against Kavanaugh, she never actually turned over any documents supporting such claims. In fact, Ford and her legal team seem to have no desire to reveal any actual evidence to validate her allegation, suggesting that the documents either don't exist or have been falsified. Perhaps the most damning aspect of not only Ford's testimony but also those of any of Kavanaugh's accusers is that, despite the women calling on multiple friends to corroborate their stories, not one witness has confirmed their claims. In fact, several have actually sided with Kavanaugh, providing Democrats and the media with a difficult time in their attempt to label the women as credible. Although the accusers, who alone hold the burden of proof, have yet to produce anything even remotely close to being considered evidence, Kavanaugh has already submitted a calendar from 1982, which supports his denial of attending parties with his alleged victims, according to Breitbart. The 36-year-old calendar details Kavanaugh's plans, including trips to the beach, weightlifting routines, and even being grounded three weekends in a row. Of course, not one mention of the alleged parties is documented on the calendar, despite his apparent penchant for recording his intentions. Although his accusers are the only ones who hold the burden of proof, Judge Brett Kavanaugh alone has produced evidence, which indicates that these women are nothing more than political pawns in the Democrats' scheme to disrupt the Scottish vote until they can secure enough seats in the November elections.